So you want to delete something when the user presses the delete key, or maybe you're wondering how to handle the backspace or escape keys, or some other special type of key. Wonder no longer. I'll show you exactly what you need to do in a .NET Windows Forms application. I'm Hugh, and this is another lesson in quite a long series on creating a C-sharp desktop tool. Now you can follow the entire series using the playlist down below. OK, so my application includes this list view you can see here, and this lets me drag and drop web addresses from a browser onto the list view and populate it with the addresses there, as I've shown in previous videos. But once they're there, they stay there. I have no way of deleting them. Let's see how I can add that uh, capability. So here I am in the web designer. Here's my list view shown on the form. Now, the secret here is handling keyboard events. Here I've got the key up event here. You can see listed on this uh, in this panel here. Now, I've already written a basic bit of code just to get me started. If I just double click this and there was no event handler, of course, it would create that empty event handler. Now, this event fires whenever the user releases a keyboard key. So when I press a key, a key down event fires. When I release a key, a key up event fires. Here, I need to handle the selected item in the list view. That's the item I want to delete. So I've started off by just declaring this list view item object, and then I've uh, found the selected item by calling this method. Now to save time, I've already written this short method up here. Uh, and this gets a collection of list view items. These are all the items that are selected. I get those from the selected items property. I only want one item ever to be selected. Now I've already done that uh, in the properties here. So if I go down to um, multi-select, I've set that to false. If that was true, then the user could select multiple items. When false, only one item can be selected. So anyway, back to my selected item method. The selected item can be got from index zero of the selected items collection. And that's what I've done here. I don't try to do this if no item is in fact selected. If no item is selected, then selected items dot count is zero, so that code won't run. I then return the selected item, which will be null if no item is selected. Right, okay, so let's look at what I need to do in my key up event handler. Having called the selected item to get the item, I now have to do something with it. Now, notice the key up method is automatically sent a key event args object e, and that's going to help me to find out whether or not the de delete key was pressed. I can test the key code property. Let me start writing some code so you can see this happening. So I'm going to um, set up the uh, test here, and I can test if the e dot key key code property has a specific value. And this is how I'm going to do that. So it's the delete key is what I'm interested in. So here I'm comparing the key code with the value of keys, which is an enum. That is, it defines a set of constants. Now, let me go back to here and you can see that it's got all sorts of things like uh, I could test for the cancel key up here or um, or the back, the backspace key, and so on. I'm only interested here in delete, but you could test for other special sorts of keys as well. So if e.keycode equals keys.delete, then what do I want to do? I want to remove the selected item. So let me write the code to do that. If this test succeeds, then I get the item and I call its remove method. Now, first, I check that there is a selected item, that is, that the item is not null. So let me do that here. If item is not null, remember it's going to be null if no item was selected, then I will remove it. Right, so is this Okay, yeah, I think so. If item is not equal to null, it'd be null if no item is selected. Then if an item is selected, 
then I call item.removal, let's see if it works. Switch over here, I'm going to press the uh, delete key. And there it goes. Try it again, try it with this long address here. Press delete. Yep, okay, so that's now correctly handling the delete key. As I've shown, you can handle all types of special keys in this way, but what about key combinations when two keys are pressed at the same time? For example, I might want to undo a deletion when control Z is pressed or move an item up the list when control up arrow is pressed. Now I'll explain how to do that in my next lesson. Make sure you don't miss any lessons by subscribing. Just click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos.